Alright, had enough of that. Ooh, okay. Up, James. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Hey man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. Look at the fishies. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. You just come up here to make fun of your commander. Sorry, Lola. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return? Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. I lot to kick my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings. Then the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike. But before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yep. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There is not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. Are you flirting with me, Lola? I'm going, I'm going. Thanks again, <laughs> Shepard. Anytime. All right, bunch of interesting stuff. Alright, so apparently that's it. Yeah, that carnage power is actually pretty cool, but I think I'll stick with my armor piercing ammo. Alright. Oh god, I have to... Back into the war room. I really hate this little thing that you have to walk through. You can't go through it very fast. It's like, nope, gotta stop right there. It's like scanning me. What the hell else is it gonna be? Let's check up on this one second. Wow, it was like a plus five apparently. That's, that's not very helpful. Every little bit counts though. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. 
You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here. Faith. That any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs. But it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Alright, enough of that. Yeah, but anyway, as you see me running back and forth, it seems like I'm taking a very long time to do some of this stuff. But as you see, if I didn't go and talk to all these people, their reputation would probably be around here somewhere. And obviously I wouldn't be able to um, persuade people very easily like that. Commander. Okay. I already checked nothing. But let's go do that Citadel stuff. I want better meta gel. Even though I don't use it. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need to get to the refugee camp. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. Yeah, whatever. Tactus. Where is Tactus? Six. Oh, no, no ways to go. Is this six? No, this is six. I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Are the refugees consider you their leader? Yes. Someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Chakwis spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. Do the right thing. Your people need our supplies, and my people need every edge we can get. Your combat-grade meds will make a difference. And our mission may just save everyone. Now's not the time for pettiness or mistrust. With our day-to-day -day worries, it's easy to forget we are all in this together. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. And that is exactly why I go around talking to everybody, because I might not have had those options if I didn't do that all the time. And by the way, if you're wondering what James is doing over there, he's just gambling. Yeah, just gambling. He doesn't really talk to you, I don't believe. Alright, someone in the purgatory bar. Jack. <laughs> Funny thing is, I probably already just talked to her. Looks like I did. Right, now so arriving at ward level. Per one moment. I'm just gonna check out to see if anyone's uh, up for talking, and then we'll move on. No, nope. already talked. Now to her. arriving at Presidium Commons. One moment, please. 
don't mind, I'm actually going to go check around now here because it is quite Quip possible that Hospital. I have some stuff Welcome to, to trade in here. I might have found something for some of these people. Or not. Alright. So many missions to do. Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. I'd like to request a transfer to a zone with Reaper, Sergeant. And may I ask why you think your deployment deserves special treatment, Private? I think I'll do better against the Reapers than Cerberus, ma'am. And what combat experience against Reapers are you basing this on? Hey, hey, um, hey, what are you none, doing? None, ma'am. <laughs> Outstanding. Um, I do believe that you can authorize that lady's, um, transfer to a Reaper zone through your Spectre office. I'll probably end up running into later. Uh, hello, Chakwas. I'm coming. Good goes. to have Ash back. We can always use a friendly gun. You always pull through, Commander. We've received the supplies from Tactus. Everything good? Indeed. We've acquired some very useful equipment. As such, I've been able to enhance the effectiveness of our Medijal delivery systems. I've also collated information that Liara may find of interest. Check with Glyn. So, Udina finally went over the edge. I never really liked Liara. Nobody Lyara. liked Udina. Now I know why. Oh, over to Liara. Dr. Tassoni found... Alright, I don't have no scars that need to be healed, so let's health bonus. I like it. I don't know why it doesn't just uh, put this together and make it useful. Useful information in the data you recovered, Commander. Hello, Shepard. Hello. Let's see what my health's looking like now. Ooh, wait, 75. Not bad at all. So apparently the Quarians wanted to talk, but. Well, apparently not seeing any of that yet. Maybe later. Let's go see what we can't do. Next server scientist. Sorry, colony. Ooh, I would like to. S Let's see what's the next priority mission. Give me a sec. And that's the one that we will not do yet. Um. Quarian fleet. Alright, that's apparently the only priority, so I'll go uh I'll go wait on that. Um, see what we can else we can do. Yeah, let's do this X service. Like 